Today, I'm gonna go over some of my favorite parts of the new Numark Meshack Patinome effects and why it might be the perfect controller for you. So this is Newmark's newest DJ controller geared towards beginners who want to get started in DJing. Included in the Platinum FX, besides the basics, is Serato DJ Lite, two 6-inch capacitive jog wheels with built-in color displays, 4 deck capabilities, 16 performance pads, 4-inch tempo faders, and exclusive FX paddles similar to the ones in the Pioneer DGMS 9 and Rain 72. Now, as the DJ controller market continues to expand and get more competitive, has Numark struck a competitive edge on everyone else with the latest controller? Let's find out. Starting with the performance pads, they have a solid feel to them and are pretty responsive. With these pads, you're able to set hot cues, create loops, play samples, and perform fader cuts, which is essentially like the trans effect. The trans effect. Now, out of these four functionalities, the one I like the least is the fader cut section. Because similar to the SP3's pad scratch section, this is definitely a function you will probably never use. I would have much rather seen something more useful here, like a beat jump section instead. But if you're not a scratch purist like myself, you might actually have fun with this feature. Still, it's worth a shot. Hopefully this button and its features will inspire you to do the real thing. Anyway, on the right side of each deck, you have a long 4-inch tempo slider similar to professional grade equipment which is often not present on small controllers. And I particularly love this as it makes it super fun and easy to beat match tracks and adjust BPMs. Next are the 6-inch jog wheels which again is a great size considering how this controller is so compact. Now, in the center of each jog wheel is a built-in color screen which makes viewing important track details such as your position, VPM, and running time a lot more easier. Now, I personally wish that all jog wheels have color screens. Not because of the helpful information they show, but just because they look cool. Anyway, as a scratch enthusiast, the jog wheels feel somewhat heavy. Despite the fantastic build and looks, their sheer weight makes scratching a little bit more difficult. If only there was a tension adjust, this unit would have been perfect for a scratch nerd like myself. But don't worry, this is not a deal breaker. In fact, this could be this controller's strength for beginners and DJs who are really into their mixing. Because these jog wheels feel great and excellent when beat matching tracks. Their size and weight makes making precise beat and tempo adjustments quick and easy. Now moving to the mixer section, you have your standard 3 band EQ, volume faders, cross fader, and track selection knob. And all these components feel pretty solid, especially the faders. They all feel buttery smooth. But the game changing feature of this controller is the effects section. Numark decided to go with effect paddles for this unit and I find them quite intuitive and fun to use. The quality of the paddle is amazing and with how much weight you can feel when using them, I'd even argue that they feel even better than the S9. Also, having dedicated buttons to select your desired effects such as echo, reverb, and more is also great for selecting effects on the fly. It definitely beats going to your laptop and selecting each effect one by one. Speaking of laptop, this controller software of choice is Serato and it works with Lite and Pro perfectly. And this thing comes with Lite. And every feature and functionality this controller offers integrates wonderfully and smoothly with the software regardless of versions. And to be completely honest with you, 90% of all your DJ needs as a beginner can definitely be answered by this controller and Serato DJ Lite. Anyway, let's now talk about the ins and outs of this unit. On the front of this controller, we have our standard TRS and 3.5mm headphone jack, and on the back, we have a mic input, an RSA audio output, and a USB port for your laptop. Now, personally, I wish this unit had more outputs, like an XLR out or a booth out. This would have taken this controller's usability to a whole new level. But for beginner TJs, the RSA output is just perfectly fine. Overall, the Newmark Mixed Track Platinum FX is an amazing beginner DJ controller for people who want to improve and focus on the essentials of DJing, like beat matching, mixing songs, and playing around and having fun with effects. So if you're a beginner DJ, this is definitely a unit that you should consider. 
not only because of the awesome size of its joggers and tempo slider, not that size actually matters, but because of its really cool and exclusive features compacted into a lightweight and portable unit. Yo, future Carlo here. I actually forgot to mention this, but the price of this controller is $250, and if that's not even in your budget, there's a model variant of this controller called the Mixtrack Pro FX, which only costs $200, so you're good in either spectrum. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this controller down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.